What's going on everybody? Andrew Bow here. Welcome back to One Week at Games. And we are halfway done with the game actually. We made it to night 5 and there might be a night 6 and night 7 because this is One Week at James. And possibly there'll be a night 8 and 9, maybe bonus or custom night. I don't know. It depends on this game but and what cutscenes we make it to. But there might be a cutscene maybe, who knows. But what I'm gonna do, let's see what Night 5 has to offer us. Oh, yeah. One thing I need to mention, you guys, is this first floor where you start, it's the safest place you can be because the pink animatronic will not, like, come in here. He'll only go on the other floors. And I'm not gonna go on the very top floor because in my last two videos, it took a lot of tries just to leave that room. So I'm not gonna go. Um, to where 11 and 12 are. Okay, he's not there, so that's a good thing. Let's, let's move down here and check. Alright, so I'm assuming he's at 11 and 12, which I'm not going to go there because it took a lot of tries to leave. So let's go this way. And back up to where I started. And this thing periodically, like, decreases every time I'm moving. I don't know why. I don't know what that is. I can't really tell what that is, but I'm actually in a hallway in this. Hmm. Don't know why, but it's kind of strange. I don't think my camera's going to pick this up. There we go. My camera's focusing actually really well. Sometimes it takes time for it to focus. Hmm. And then this arrows right here means that you like go either upstairs or downstairs when you look at those arrows. And you either run the hallways or you can look at the camera because there, there is a camera in this game. This is cool. Okay, I'm going to look. Okay, he's not here. He's still on 11 and 12, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's still on 11 and 12, so he's not at 7 and 6. And he doesn't go here, so we're safe here, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Guess this will be the easy part. Oh. He's on 10. He just moved. Okay. So I guess we can leave. Can go this way. Alright, so we're fine in here, actually. Whew. I have no idea what that is, but whatever. Plus, I'm actually playing this game online on Game Jolt, as you can tell. I didn't actually have to download it. You could actually either play it or download it. I decided to play it because I didn't want to download it because on a Mac, it's sort of a long process. And it takes a few tries to play it, but I find this very convenient to play it online simply. Alright, back where I'm started, this is where you actually start. You start in the bedroom and then you just move about in the house. Now this game is definitely like, like I don't know, And what's cool about this is when you press this, you can you can actually use this on the camera, and it will ch and that will actually turn yellow. That diamond, when it's green, it means it's on, and if and it will turn yellow eventually. So that's cool. You can actually flip through these cameras. I found this cool. Okay, so it's yellow now. So you just go back up here, and you can just turn this off. Okay then. Well, it's dark in here. Let me just flip that back a little bit. Yep, he's in here. Still in there. It's always a pitch black when you move. Hmm. It's like, always been like that, you know. I call this a dark room because it's dark with just a box in it.
And I think that's just a closet. I keep thinking that's an elevator, but it looks more like a closet to me or something. I don't know. I think it might be an elevator summit. I can't tell what that is. And it's gray inside instead of like yellow, black, or brown or whatever. Plus, it's a pink Bonnie. Why would Bonnie be pink if Bonnie's like a sil a gray color? That's just plain weird. That might be Fredbear. I think he he's half Bonnie and half Fredbear. So that's what's cool about because the bow. I think Fredbear has a bow on him, just like Bonnie. And I think, yeah, Freddy Fazbear's got a bow on him too. And then Foxy doesn't have a bow because he's a pirate. But he's, so he's got an eye patch on him. And it's 4 o'clock, yeah, wow. This is crazy. You Usually in Five Nights at Freddy's games or like fan games, you um, you usually go from like 12 and 6 a.m. But this is 11 p.m. to 5 to 7 a.m. That's what's cool about this game, so, well, or different about it, I bet. Mean. It's 5 o'clock. Moving up. Moving out. I'm kind of just moving through here. Yep, I'm kind of just moving through here. And back to my bedroom I go. Or the first floor, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> Man. Plus the doorknobs are yellow and this and the outlines of the door are like gray or silver or something. I don't know. Hmm. I'm already dual shifting around in this thing. Alright, six o'clock. Let's go back this way or you know what, just head back this way. Just so we can make sure he's not heading about or moving about. It makes like three different sounds. It makes like a shuffling noise and then like a running sound. I'm actually looking at both. I'm looking at both my computer and my camera because I can actually sort of look at both. Like one eye on my computer and one eye at my, at my camera. So that's what's cool about it. And of course my hand's moving the mouse obviously. Oops. I gotta move that back. I just... I just realized I I moved that the wrong way. Whoops. Since it's six o'clock, let's just head back to here where I started. And this is where you always start. Yes, I have beaten night five, so we'll find out what's next. Whew. I'm gonna turn it down a little because the screaming is the cheering's a little bit loud. Hmm. Huh. And yes. Huh? Let me see. I don't know what load game does. What happens if I press it? Uh, oh yeah. It turns out there's only five nights here. Well, I've beaten the game. I hope you enjoyed this video and the whole game. Thank you for watching. Bye.